Hi friends and greetings from TRX Bench. Today I have uh, again uh, ICOM IC7000 here, this guy, and uh, this radio will not any longer trigger an external power amplifier. So, hmm, let's see what uh, has happened and uh, let's see if we can fix this radio. And for triggering an external power amplifier, we uh, have here this uh, AC uh, socket, which uh, is an accessory uh, socket. And um, as you might uh, certainly know, uh, we need a pin which goes to ground to be able to uh, trigger the, yeah, let me call it a PTT in the power amplifier so that uh, the power amplifier goes into transmit after the radio has keyed. So uh, that is uh, how it works and uh, one of uh, these pins here have to go to ground if we uh, trigger or if we key our uh, PTT and uh, then, you know, um, we should see uh, this pin going to ground and uh, that is uh, as well the first we gonna test here with uh, this radio to see what's happening. And uh, the owner of this radio has uh, this little yeah, inline relay which uh, is really uh, very often a good idea. So this uh, little uh, relay will prevent uh, the radio for uh, getting damaged by, well, especially older PAs because uh, it is not uh, seldom that uh, the relay in the power amplifier will give uh, peaks up to, I don't know, 150 volt or even more and uh, this peak can damage your radio and as I said especially it is an old power amplifier so then it is always a very good idea if uh, you have something in between because now the radio will key this uh, little inline relay and then this inline relay will finally uh, connect or bring the relay inside the power amplifier to ground that it goes to transmit. So that is always a good idea and maybe um, the fault is in here but uh, first uh, we will see if we get our ground potential here uh, at uh, I believe it is pin 3 but we will uh, double check and uh, that is very easy to test and uh, I will show it in a minute. Okay, so a short look in our manual will uh, tell us what uh, is present at the ACC socket and uh, we see here at uh, pin 3 that uh, pin 3 will be grounded when transmit and that is then of course our port of interest so let's see if uh, pin 3 goes to ground when uh, we put the radio to transmit, okay? Well, and uh, basically uh, that is now very easy to test, so um, we connect here our voltage uh, meter to point pin 3 and uh, at uh, pin 3 we read uh, 7.3 volt which uh, is right. I will show you in a bit why it is right. And uh, now when I uh, press uh, PTT it should go to ah, almost zero. Let's see. And yeah, that's uh, what it does. So very nice. So this uh, is definitely switching very very nicely without uh, any problem and uh, yeah let's have a short look into the schematic that uh, we understand uh, what we are doing here okay here 
on the schematic we see our ACC socket and uh, we see uh, pin 3 and uh, when we follow along uh, pin 3 we see we uh, come here to this uh, relay and um, well uh, we have uh, this uh, contact here I mean uh, we have both con contacts and uh, that is because um, we can operate this radio on uh, HF and uh, 50 megahertz as well on uh, VHF and uh, UHF and uh, therefore uh, it is not only pin 3 which uh, will be grounded pin 3 will only be grounded on uh, HF and 50 megahertz and pin 7 will do the same on VHF and UHF but uh, considering we are using this with and um, uh, with a shortwave uh, linear amplifier um, we have to talk about uh, pin 3 and uh, yeah we have seen 7.3 volt present at uh, pin uh, 3 and uh, that uh, is uh, right because we have a supply voltage connected to that pin and that is the 8 volt uh, voltage line so we see here this both uh, diodes and when we follow up this uh, supply line let me go up here and if I bring it here over you see here we uh, have here up here so this is here our 8 volt uh, supply line which uh, finally comes down here to this uh, Bose diodes and of course we have a voltage drop of 0.7 volt here at uh, the uh, diode and uh, that is the reason why we can uh, measure if you follow along here again that is the reason why we can uh, test and measure 7.3 volt at pin 3 now when uh, we press uh, the PTT you see here uh, the contact which uh, is um, going as well here if it if it is uh, connected or close then uh, you see it's going here to this uh, transistor and uh, with uh, transmit right this uh, gets low resistant and uh, that means um, the 7.3 volt will drop here over this uh, 2.2 kilo ohm resistors and uh, thus we have low at uh, pin 3 so that is the whole story and um, well um, I have not been told if uh, this problem of course with uh, shortwave or with VHF and uh, UHF so that is what I don't know right now because we have seen that uh, the switching is uh, working just fine here on um, on shortwave and on uh, 50 megahertz so uh, that is what uh, we are testing here and uh, yeah once again you see it's really going uh, to ground and uh, therefore maybe the problem is only on VHF and uh, uh, UHF but uh, it can be as well here in this uh, little inline uh, relay circuit so that is uh, what we need uh, to figure out and I need to uh, understand how this uh, was built because this is here um, yeah, uh, the DUI uh, project and uh, well um, we have to uh, figure out what's uh, really used here and uh, how this is connected to this uh, additional relay and uh, two wires here came uh, with the cable whoops sorry so um, this here which uh, is simply um, <clears throat> the connector and uh, here 
something which uh, can go into a power amplifier and uh, when we watch uh, the wiring down uh, here in uh, this socket we see that uh, pin 3 is connected and uh, pin 2 and uh, let me double check but uh, pin 2 uh, is as far as I remember ground so let me double uh, check uh, on the schematic here and uh, pin 2 right pin uh, 2 is ground and uh, that means this uh, wiring here is connected uh, configured for short wave um, uh, triggering so therefore uh, my assumption that uh, it is uh, really for short wave and um, for 50 megahertz is right and therefore let's uh, first of all test here this um, yeah this uh, wiring if uh, this is working and then after that we go and uh, check out what's going on here with this guy okay okay and now we have here uh, the configuration with uh, this wiring here and uh, yeah I have uh, connected here uh, our uh, voltage meter again to this uh, connector here and uh, you see again we read our 7.3 volt and I have uh, here connected the, the outer side of uh, this connector to ground um, so up to now everything is fine now let's uh, push here the PTT and uh, it is uh, going very nicely uh, to ground so nothing is wrong here with uh, this so this wiring is definitely fine so let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's test this guy here okay and uh, the wiring here in uh, this little inline um, yeah device uh, has to be a little bit uh, different uh, of course uh, so here uh, we are simply uh, let me see if I can get it over here so here of course now we have uh, separated uh, the both uh, circuits uh, or the, the both uh, loops so with uh, our socket here with our ECC socket uh, we need uh, to switch uh, this relay here and uh, then here on uh, the output we only will have then when the contacts of our relay has been closed so that will be then a close loop and uh, that means uh, no resistance so therefore I uh, set here my meter in um, in beeper modus right so it is working and now when I go here into the inner of the contact and I press PTT then it should beep and it is beeping and uh, well you uh, see right that uh, we have more or less uh, a short so the meter is only reporting 0 0.3 ohm but uh, that uh, is uh, due, due to the wiring so the resistance of uh, my uh, test uh, wires here and of course the resistor of uh, the uh, relay contacts so if we have uh, at least uh, 0 0.3 ohm that uh, is just fine and uh, well the uh, only thing uh, I can report that uh, this here is uh, working the radio itself is working fine so no problem whatsoever both uh, wirings are working this wiring here and uh, of course as well here our inline relay concept is working just fine so there is really nothing wrong with uh, the radio so if his um, linear amplifier will not key up then the problem is somewhere different so um, well <laughs> maybe in uh, the linear amplifier but uh, the radio and uh, all 
what is connected here to the radio is just fine so we really do not need to touch this radio and of course uh, no uh, nice repair so I thought uh, this uh, might be a bit more interesting and uh, at least yeah it uh, <laughs> was uh, just uh, uh, proving that uh, the radio itself is just fine so well uh, sorry nothing fancy nothing really interesting ah uh, okay that is uh, how it goes sometimes but anyways maybe you enjoyed it just a little bit and uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon bye